Okay, here we are at Monster Hunter Rise. So we are going to take on El Mudrin, the home of the swamp. I tried to record this one a moment ago, but the guy literally led me on a wild goose chase across the Shrine Ruins for like better part of five minutes, and I mean five minutes, not just the hyperbole part. So I just said screw it, and I'm gonna try this where he's not running away the entire freaking match. And let's see if I have any better luck. Overall, I can't help but think it's just like bad RNG from the Narga Kuga thing carried over, which is really crappy. I'm only using this gun because I want to cut off his tail, which is extremely difficult to do from my experience finding him in the past. Like, for the longest time, I didn't even think his tail came off because I hit it that hard and literally nothing would happen. He always starts in 10, to my knowledge. Let's actually grab these real quick. But otherwise, things I'm trying to think of are he fights with water element. Baroth being weak to fire and water puts me at a bit of a disadvantage. There just isn't a good alternative set to use, which just makes things all the more complicated. Yes. There's Bishiten. Now, Bishiten is one of my least favorite ones to ride because he does more grandstanding than fighting. We talked about League of Legends in the Mizusune video. He is just like your average bronze guy who saw a YouTube video and thinks they can play the game. I mean that Misha Ten sense. I was about to say, he better not be running away already. I was gonna lose my crap. So yeah, if you had any doubts on how freaking massive this guy is, he can hit you from all the way over there with his tail. Watch out for those waves, because those mess you up, man. It's also his favorite move to spam, from my experience. I'm not going to try to gather items until... Those go away. They obscure far too much. So his whole gimmick is he has the top of his body in one spot, the bottom part in a different one. Further amplifying the difficulty in cutting his tail. The water blight has finally expired. And I don't even know what parts of his tail actually count as tail damage. By the way, if you can see how it looks now, it's going to change when it breaks for the first time. And yes, I do mean first time. Now, the only way for me to dodge the mud wave is by vaulting over it which puts me at a pretty sizable disadvantage. Mm -hmm. 
this one may actually be a very good candidate for the heavy bow gun. Just because I'll have the counter to fall back on, even in multiplayer. Just because of all the AoE he puts out. So anyway, his tail is much more vulnerable now that he has the ball of mud. So when you see it slice, it'll deal more damage there. As it is, he can't kill me. for the massive smut attack. So right there it finally broke. Now that's different from severing from my what I understand. Yes. Let's see. Kinda of playing do I want to try to uh Mount him. I think you can break the whiskers on his face too. If you're interested. This is a perfect shot. So I've mentioned before that you can't really afford to go blow for blow with the monsters for obvious reasons. And if the reasons weren't obvious, hopefully this puts all the context for you. Here comes the tail, which I had no time to dodge because I was unloading. So now I get to put my gun away and try to heal. Because that's time efficient, folks. are just too damn long. So anyway, the opportunity is gone. See the poison are the slow. His shit is damage over time, is what I'm trying to get at, but I can't speak because I'm trying to do multiple things at once. Anyway, 
said his whisker broke. I'm gonna take him in here and try to bounce him. right now is not a, the best of ideas. I'm trying to think of where I can find more pure ammo. Or not pure ammo, but slicing, I mean. Those are latch berries. Bomb berry. He's on his way here. I only know the two spots here on the Shrine Runes. <laughs> Don't really care about trying to poison him. Just a... Ah, Dragon Strike. I was hoping I could have got real lucky there, but no dice. See, I don't think I'm going to be able to cut the tail off. I'm just trying to knock him down so I can get some easy shots on the tail. my final shot. But yeah, if you're not serious about getting his tail, by all means, you can uh, 
Just fire peers down his body and he melts pretty easily due to his sheer size. Got his whisker. Yes. But well, we can see his armor is pretty nice, it's just... I don't know how to get all of his drops since he doesn't... It makes no sense to me, man. So yes, this is the first time I've gotten his claws. He does deny those. Got his fin, his whisker, his scale, yada yada. Those are pretty common. Took almost 15 minutes because I wasn't piercing him, I was trying to slice him. This time I'm just going to throw Caution of the Wind and go in there with Pierce Rounds and show you how fast you can gun him down. But I do have to get more supplies. So this is the plate, this is the tail, and you can see it's an 80% chance car, which means it has to be able to come off, but I just have no clue on how you actually cut it. Maybe I'm attacking the wrong part of it or something? Maybe you have to go higher up? When I'm actually with the guys and they have their proper bladed weapons, I can see if there's something else that'll help. It's all sucked. Yeah, round two. Gonna be going quiet here for a second. Nope, scratch that. Moneymaker. I'm actually gonna go water resistance because maybe that'll help with the mud. Yeah, we got all three. It's driving me crazy, man, trying to figure out how to cut the sucker's tail off. Yeah, maybe if you cut it higher up, it'll come off and you just can't actually deal the proper damage from where I was hitting it? I don't know. I'm gonna get in the habit of trying to put the dog's command right there. Because that way I don't have to sit there and mash the A button like a jackass trying to, uh get him to do stuff. Because I'm pretty sure this supersedes the A button one, because he will not respond to A if you're in combat or anything like that. Let's grab this real quick. I gave up on dung bombs. now. Yes. And it seems like it's always the same monsters that spawn with them, isn't it? Actually, now that I think about it, since I gave up on cutting the tail, I should have just brought the narc and the gun. Really went ham.
So right here is when your pierce is not as optimal. Still getting through his tail, you can do some numbers on him. Think about it, you guys really don't see me shoot down like that, do you? I'm in this toxic mud. Pretty sure I have done that on video before. The whole shoot down while vaulting thing. But I think his tail takes double damage while he's holding the mud ball. Almost as if he knows it's volatile and everything. Yeah, I can only slide once. so you can see the faster one and then the tedious one. Still got hit. You know what? I actually will. Yes. So yeah, I mentioned I never get the claw before, and now all of a sudden I'm getting tons of them. I don't know if he sleeps out here or not.
still hit me. My concern was getting knocked down the waterfall, actually. Because as long as I didn't, I could come back and just do that. Actually, you know what? Let's set this up. Can I get on in a time? Nope. <sighs> so, 10% chance of the tail, like 1% chance, or no, 3% chance of plate. Let's see if I can get one of them for bragging purposes of nothing else. And there's the stupid tail. Got an extra claw. <laughs> yeah, this took half the time because I just pierced him. That's insane, man. I I don't know how you cut off his tail. I gotta really look into that. Because that will give you a better chance of getting the plates. I don't have a use for the plate at the moment, but I will pull up his armor real quick so you can see it. That'll round out the video. That annoys me so freaking much, man. Time differential between the two is insane. Like, that's among the fastest fights. <laughs> So if you want to see it, here you go, wrapping more for Razor Sharp. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because this is a really good Switch Axe set, and I imagine it may be what Blue wants to use. We'll see. He's almost at the point where he's going to fight this in single player. As for his gun, there it is. Kind of nice looking, I think. And with the tail, I actually can make it. The downside, though, is it does not rapid fire anything, so I... Like, I don't know why you'd want to use this. The one advantage is that you're able to move and fire or move and reload with almost... Ev actually, no, with everything. Either or. So, yeah, is the heavy any better? I don't even see it. You may not have one. It's Diablos. It means a Tsunade. Like, I'm even looking just to see if there's anything here that uses his parts. So, yeah, I guess... I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. So, yeah... Sucks when you're doing the slicing ammo, piercing is hysterical because you do so much damage. I, like, if I used the Narga gun, it would have been even faster, believe it or not. And just to show you some numbers real quick, I actually have it in here. So my Wind Thief does 83 with a 16% chance of crit, compared to my Hidden Eye right here. <laughs> so 17 more with almost... With more than double the crit range. Crit rate, I mean. I could amplify its damage a little bit more by taking off the silencer for the long barrel, but I prefer to keep the recoil to a minimum. So, yeah, that is where we stand right now. So, I only have Blos left on the list, and then we'll go back to uh, doing this like normal. Still haven't found out how you open the journal to see the various cut. Oh, crud, I just had a. Don't tell me. I was looking through my options trying to find out is there a way to see this and I may have actually been looking in the wrong spot. Yeah. So if you want to see, I may try to splice these in, we'll see. I can record all these at once.
Hermit of the Swamp, El Mudrum. And there you have it, folks. So with that, I am out of here. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.